Hi, I'm Laura. I'm the CEO of VMV Hypoallergenics. We're here to save the world's skin by making the safest, most proven, effective care on the planet. Uh, we do that two ways. The safest part is covered by allergen omission, basically. We take all or as many as possible of the top contact allergens, patch tested with thousands and thousands of uh, patients all over the world, which are published by independent sources, and we remove them from our formulation. We have a VH rating system. This was invented by my mother, our founding dermatopathologist, back in the 80s, and it's got a great published study on it, a few actually, showing its efficacy. But basically it shows how many of the top allergens are omitted from a formulation. And if there were an allergen in this formulation, it would show a lower VH rating, like VH 108 over 109, or 106, or whatever, and it would have an asterisk. Then if you go to the ingredients list, you could, you'd could you be able to find the asterisk and the allergens that are underlined, because if they're not allergens that you patch tested positive for, then you should be able to use the product, no problem. So it's great and really helpful. It can really help you choose products that you know you can use. And the most proven effective care on the planet we cover by publishing our clinical studies, many of which have been published in peer-reviewed journals. At this point, thanks to my mom, over 80 or so. She has something like 200, but we have a whole bunch in there from her research um, where VMV hypoallergenics have played a part or research that went into VMV hypoallergenics. So we're big into peer-reviewed published papers as well. I will be talking to you today about one of our more popular combined regimens to deal with dark spots and acne. So post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from acne or blemishes or bumps of different kinds. Before I get into that, don't forget to like us on Facebook Follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss new content as it comes up. And I'm happy to chat with you as well on Instagram at Laura at VMV. So quickly as an introduction, uh, why dark spots after acne or blemishes or bumps of different kinds? I say it like that because there are different types of bumps. It's not always acne. It could be uh, malasasia folliculitis, which is sweat acne, or other types of lesions. But basically darkening that happens after, say, bumps, um, is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And this term also applies to other types of hyperpigmentation. If you get a rash or reaction and darkening follows in the same sort of general area, then that is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. We also see it sometimes in hyperpigmented contact dermatitis where you don't even have an inflammation that you notice. It's not itchy, it's not red, but the skin just sort of starts to darken over time. Uh, that we see a lot with underwear, for example. But with acne, which is an inflammation, then when exposed to light in particular, the skin can darken. So let me break that down even further. Clogged pores are caused by a comedogen. A comedogen. It is an ingredient or a substance or a product that clogs the pore, blocks it which creates a comedone, right? That's a comedone. For acne to happen, there needs to be inflammation and possible infection, and then we have acne. So the inflammation is there, and there are some newer studies that show uh, the inflammation can actually really precede the acne. There's sort of an underlying inflammation that's already there. So inflammation plays a very big part in acne. After the inflammation of the acne, the other part that's really key here is exposure to sun and light, um, particularly with people who are darker skinned or like me, biracial. We tend to hyperpigment. We tend to get melasma uh, and we tend to hyperpigment after inflammation, which is why we also sometimes see darkening after, say, laser therapy, if you're not careful, which is why if you're going to get laser, go see a specialist. What we're going to be talking about today is a combined regimen that deals with both acne and hyperpigmentation. And as usual, at VMV, you know, our middle name is prevention, so we're going to be starting with that. Starting with prevention, as usual, shampoo and conditioner. 
The reason for this is because a lot of allergens are also photoallergens, which are ingredients, substances, chemicals, natural substances even, that can react with light to cause darkening. The most common culprits for photoallergens are fragrance, even masking fragrances, dyes, and preservatives. So if you're really trying to get rid of dark spots from acne, then you want to make sure everything you use does not contain photoallergens. Uh, part of this regimen is also prevention of the acne itself, right? Because you're trying to avoid the dark spots post acne, therefore we also have to avoid the acne itself. So we're looking for everything, shampoo, conditioner, everything that you use that doesn't have photoallergens in it, that doesn't have comedogens in it, nothing that can clog the pore, but also doesn't have allergens in it because while the comedogen will clog the pore, the allergen can irritate the pore, cause infection and cause acne. So starts with shampoo and conditioner. We normally recommend, these are mine by the way, so they're a little bit beat up, I apologize, but this is um, what I use. It is the Essence, there you go, Skin Saving Superwash uh, for hair and body. Remember, a lot of uh, ingredients in your hair care and hair styling products even can trickle down onto your skin, especially with sweat, and cause acne or hyperpigmentation. Um, then it would be Essence Conditioner. But so that would be Essence Superwash and Conditioner. makeup even. There's so many makeup products that have beautiful smells to them. Not great if you're trying to fight hyperpigmentation. And also some makeup products that do have comedogens and allergens in them. So any of our skin intelligent beauty products, this is Tarte Atan. It's a bronzing powder that I basically, I could inhale. I'm also wearing a our concealer. Again, this is my personal stash. Um, sorry, that's a newer one. That's nicer. But uh, these concealers come in a bunch of shades, five shades actually, which is cool. So you would choose the lighter shade for you as a concealer. Um, this is the yellow one, which is called No More Blues, which I find works really well for dark blotches because a lot of melasma blotches have an undertone that is purple and the yellow helps to cancel that out. Uh, if the undertone is red, you would use the green concealer, then follow it with a concealer that is closer to your skin tone. The nice thing about our makeup, um, the concealers, the tartatan, is they also contain monolaurin, which is a wonderful, very well-studied antimicrobial and can further help prevent or treat various types of acne. So win-win. Um, the other thing I would say in terms of preventing hyperpigmentation, uh, during the pandemic, a lot of us are dealing with necessarily uh, increased disinfection. And a lot of disinfectants like bleach contain uh, chlorine, for example, which is a photoallergen and can also cause acne. So just be aware, I guess, when you are dealing with airborne um, allergens, photoallergens, and acnegens. And with bleaches, try to choose something maybe that's not fragrance. The fragrance is notorious for wafting up and causing hyperpigmentation. So aromatherapy oils are also out of the question. We do have a video on maskne that can be helpful. Um, and yeah, if you can avoid the maskne, you can also avoid the hyperpigmentation that follows. Huge in prevention is sun and light screen used every single day indoors and outdoors because even on a cloudy day like today, UVA gets through. I'm sitting in front of a window. UVB cannot penetrate windows, but UVA can. And visible light, blue light from your gadgets, um, visible light from your indoor lamps, all of this causes hyperpigmentation. Remember, hyperpigmentation is extremely um, stubborn too, very difficult to get rid of. So when we're talking about post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, dark spots because of acne or post-acne, prevention is so incredibly important for both the acne and the hyperpigmentation. So everything, everything, everything you want, non-comedogenic, no allergens, 
no photoallergens. And there's a shocking amount of products, um, even that are made for hyperpigmentation and acne, that contain those things. So read very carefully. Onto the regimen itself. Uh, it starts with a cleanser. We're going to be combining the id and illuminance line. Either cleanser actually works. The id cleanser or the illuminance cleanser. This is more a matter of preference. The id cleanser would be a more thorough scrub. This would be a little more gentle and they're both pH adjusted, which is really, really important when using active ingredients. The skin is naturally more acidic because we have an important acid mantle. Uh, when we use active ingredients that are effective, they're also more acidic and the skin can easily adjust to this. But when you then use a cleanser like a bar soap, bar soaps are notorious for having a very high pH, then your skin has to ping pong trying to adjust between the two extremes, which is not a good thing. So we're looking at either of the cleansers. <music> And then you'd follow with the id toner, right? Because it is an active product, it has salicylic acid. You would use it slowly at first, just once or twice a week, very slowly. Uh, here are the instructions for a slow increase in application frequency. Very slowly increasing to twice a week, three times a week, etc., until you get to about once or twice a day, which shouldn't be until about week eight of therapy. It's very crucial. We're going to be combining active ingredients here. So it is extremely crucial that you follow the slow increase in application frequency extremely, extremely carefully. You use the right cleansers, you use the sun and light screen every day, and you avoid all other allergens or anything else that might potentially irritate the skin. So after cleansing, it would be the id toner. This can be applied on the face, the chest, the back, body, the butt, the thighs, wherever lesions exist. Then you would use the Illuminance Cream. This is the first formula, the primary formula of the Illuminance Brilliance Moisturizer. This is the active hyperpigmentation treatment cream. And again, you would use this very, very slowly. Once a week, twice a week, three times a week. That's not twice a day, once a week. That's once a week, either in the morning or the evening. Um, very slowly moving up to twice a week, three times a week until you get to twice a day applications, which again should not be earlier than about week eight of therapy. If you need to go slower, that's fine too. Um, after you achieve twice a day applications of this, you can move up to the advanced formula, but again, you would restart from the beginning at once a week. Um, the instructions are very clear on the box. Keep the box handy, right? It really spells out how to do it. So after it toner, after the Illuminance Cream, you would follow with, you can either go straight to the Sun and Light screen or you can follow with id monolaurin gel, which is um, wonderful if you also have sweat acne or malassezia, folliculitis on the face or the body. 
And then another great spot treatment that is an option would be the Red Better Spot Corrector. This is nice because it's not as drying or irritating as some spot correctors. So it's great for using on sort of bigger blemishes as they come. Um, it's got potassium azaloyl diglycinate. It's got salicylic acid. It's, um, an, it's got antioxidants, anti-inflammatories. It's just a wonderful little product. <music> Finally, you would follow everything with the Armada of your choice. For hyperpigmentation, we tend to recommend a purely mineral sun and light screen like Armada uh, Post-Procedure Barrier Cream 50, which comes anyway with each Illuminance cream purchase, or Armada Baby, but certainly um, any Armada will do. Armada 30, 60, Armada 30, 45, 60, not so much Armada 70, that's more for outdoor use, but because we're talking hyperpigmentation, you want something for indoor outdoor. So in terms of sort of, um, if I were to grade the recommendation, it would be Armada Post-Procedure Barrier Cream 50, Armada Baby, Armada 60, 45, 30, and then Armada 70. Another option could be Skin Tangible which is a purely mineral sun and light screen, also tested for indoor light, it's a 30, or Skin Savvy 60, which is basically our Armada 60, but tinted. So that's another great option as well. There, that is our popular regimen that combines both of our lines, id for acne, illuminance for hyperpigmentation. If you actually prefer super skin toner instead of id toner, that's fine too. It's a, it's a great sort of multitasking toner that addresses rejuvenation, some hyperpigmentation and acne as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, I personally love answering questions from our clients or interested viewers. Uh, if not, VMV, we're very responsive to questions on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, and our websites. Please ask any questions that you might have. Uh, comment, let us know what you think. Share with someone if you think that this would be helpful to them. And let us know what else you'd like us to cover in the comments. We'd really like to hear. So don't forget, please follow us on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, we'll see you next time.